Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Star Renegades tonight. Last time, we uh, cleared the third area, and then we kind of left off uh, right before getting to what is presumably the final area. At least, at least that's what they tell us. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if our crew is up to the task here. Um, everybody's leveled up as far as we can go. Plus, now we've got our, our robo-friend as, uh, our other robot friend has joined the joined the squad, and he's got a bomb, apparently. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that bomb. I think just, uh, we're supposed to plant it somewhere to destroy the enemy ship or whatever. It's... Let's we'll find out once we move on here, right? Let's, uh, let's go. To the next planet. To the next planet. A.K.A. this weirdo, like, dimension-hopping ship or whatever. There it is. The ISS Eternal, oh boy. Just name it the ISS Unsinkable or something, who knows. Okay, let's let's go. Alright, we get to do a little a little quick nibble, a little bonding before we go. Um Yeah. Remember that time we murdered that guy? Yeah. Okay, um, do we have any other like freebies here? Not really, but we do have a couple... Oh, these are free. These are free. They're one-time uses, but they're free. But I think this is going to be the last... Pretty much the last time we'll be able to do this, so we may as well just, like... Well, I don't know. Uh, gain a thing? Do, do we get to see what we gain for our, our trouble here? Or is that just not a thing? Uh, relationship unlocks. Here we go. Oh, no, that's right. That's just the grid of things that we have done. It doesn't tell us what we've done, or what we can do, but, okay. Well, how many folks have that? Uh... Just our, uh... Just our guardian, huh? Okay, well... The... The risk of getting a, a second relationship point here? Thirsting to avenge the destruction of the fleet. Oh boy. Thirsting for revenge. An <laughs> evil, evil interdimensional being and devastating. I guess Ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, so more health and regen 30 health? Damn, nice. At the end of every combat. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um... Anything we can do... Any other freebies we can pop right away? I don't know, well, besides these consumables, I guess, right? Eh. Okay. Um, alright, then how about we go... Here, I guess? Bleeding and more crit damage? Sure. Ah, oh, that's not enough. Come on, that met the, the second bit, didn't it? Alright, is there something I can then do in return? <laughs> Repair armor. Ah, here. Uh, yeah, it gets hit. Guardian gains plus one spirit. Oh, uh, actually, that seems pretty sick because uh, our front line protag is going to get hit a lot. So, yeah, do it. And then we get a, a second bit. A second relationship bit. A hard, diligent internal work. Blah, 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 blah. You think I feel better to feed the blah, blah, blah? <laughs> Superbike, thanks. Okay, and then we get- oh, we get a sick combo. That's right, the second bits are always the combos. Alright. It's called Bloodstorm, which is rad as fuck. Um, does a bunch of damage to shields, also applies bleeding. Bleeding 9. Fucking sick as hell. Alright, what else do we have? Um... Got just a straight up damage boost, right? Can we... Okay, we can do that to other dude here, I guess? Yeah, why not? Into a damage boost. And they're almost up to third relationship status there. Um, and we don't have any more action points, so that'll have to do. Okay, well, let's... Uh see what we're facing here. Okay, it's kind of like, it's not like another level level, it's more just like a, a combat rush thing here. 
All right, in the belly of the beast, and so there's another CPU core. Uh, you know, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, 55 with the processor core in one piece. Okay, so we essentially just need to go straight up the middle, right? There's armor and shields, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I'm tempted by the, um, tempted by the side bits, though. Like, that's... That's, that's tough. Because I think once we pick a path, we're committed to it. We don't get to, like, double back and, and go off other paths. Um, so I think the safe play is probably going up the middle. Because we get a armor, shield, and health restore right before the last fight. Which is this presumably the last fight. And then we get to, get to do our thing, get to go all out. So safe play is to just go up the middle. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see ya. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, straight up six on six. All right. Got uh, almost a basketball game going here. Hmm. That's a lot of attacks. I don't like it. <laughs> all right. Firstly, though, if we can get all these dudes... Let's see, what do we got? Two? That'll break half of them off of there immediately. And then do we have another group attack that'll just... Yeah, where's our... Okay, here's our slow-ass AoE. Which does 10. So if we do... Uh, firstly, though, um, take our time boost off, I think. And then do... Uh, let's queue up this one. Oh wow, that even the, the strength boost even improves our uh Does it improve our our like uh stagger? I think it does. So let's queue that up and then I wanna see if our other AoE firstly goes fast enough, and it does. Ah, uh, but it's not enough to push him off. We need more than ten. Uh am I just gonna have to maybe just target him one at a time? Who is who here? See, when there's so many dudes that look the same here, it's hard to tell which one I should be targeting to push them off. Alright, let me, uh, let me back out this one. Let me see, let's just... Let's do a single target, and then we'll see who's who. Okay, so two of the frontliners... Okay, middle and bottom are two I can target individually, and then the other one... Okay, this I can target. Okay, and then it's the back right, or the back bottom, is the other one I need to kind of target individually. Okay, so let's... Let's queue that up. Um, do these dudes have any armor? No, it's just shield. Shield, uh, small bits of shield, and then you know, not a bad amount of health, really. All right, so let's queue that up. We'll queue this up as well. And then I think it's just the front line, middle and bottom are the other two that I need to target. Um, I am curious, because this does additional crit damage. Which realistically, oh, plus it executes faster. All right, so what? Where's my? Okay, here's my AOE. So even if that goes faster, also I should see what we've got for like special effects on here. Um, that's gonna do burning, I guess. Burning seven versus what does this make him go slower or whatever? I think. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Okay, it's got it's blocked by shields, but I think by the time that goes off, all their shields are toast anyways. That's not bad. Okay. Um, what does pulse do? Uh lowers shield defense. Concussion, I believe, does additional stagger, right? 
Oh, yeah, so that would guarantee a group stagger as well. Except it's blocked by shield, so I don't know if that would kick off appropriately. Okay, but I'm not sure that we need that. And antimatter, I think, is uh, additional armor damage. Yeah. Corruption, I'm not sure what that does. Uh... Okay, that reduces their damage output, which, eh, honestly, could get behind that. Could really get behind that if I wanted to make ultra sure that they weren't going to do serious damage to my folks here. And then it goes back around to Phasma, which is, uh, I think that does the bleeding, right? Or no, that applies vulnerability. Okay, in. Okay, Pyro, and then it's certain cycles around the Pyro. Okay, so now I want um, probably Corruption. Yeah, because that'll fire off pretty much last, unless I make it go faster. And then I need to make sure that this one of these fuckos. Oh, either way. <laughs> either way, one of them's gonna die immediately. I like that. Okay, and then we just got this. And I think that ensures everybody... Everybody goes. Like, everybody gets knocked off the timeline of them, and we end up with at least an kill. And several of them are probably within range of a kill shot. Uh, next round anyway, so alright, carry on. Bonk. Bonk. And I think that dude eats shit. Dies and eats shit or something. Oh, after the AoE attack, that's right. Okay, so now they're all they're all off uh, this round. At least one of them is dying. Good. Okay. So now... <laughs> now we get to... To play the who's gonna immediately die here game. Um, okay, they're trying to... Attack our floaty robot friend there. That's not good. Um, what? Do we have like we could pretty much just combo them out of existence, I think. This would do the quintuple kill. <laughs> just get them out of here. Um tempted to just do that. We'll see if we've got an alternative though. Like do we have an alt an alternative, maybe group attack? Oh that dude's shields regenerated, I hate that. Um Okay, who's not target? Okay, that dude up there. And, okay, like the two center dudes are the ones that are not targeting my uh, friendly floating robo dude. So if I could somehow fertilize the others. Fortunately, the fastest AoE I've got is this one. And it's not going to be enough to kill any of them. Alternatively, this is an instant, right? Okay, so we could just get rid of the front runner immediately. Or the middle one, too. Oh, I can target any of these guys. Uh, or I could just myrtleize the back dude. That seems like a, a better idea, actually. Get the one all the way in the back. He's really the only one that I probably can't reach with anybody else. Uh, but he's not the first one to go. Who's the first one to go? The dude in the front is the first one to go. So that might make a lot of sense to do that. That gives us a few additional time seconds to work with. Uh, 
alternatively, I could try to just very quickly. Anybody else I can use that will go in instantly here? Oh, right, this guy. Um. If I do that, plus an AoE. Okay, let's, all right, here, let's queue up this first. Queue up the AoE, and then if I, uh, where's my, here, where's my reaction? Okay, that's a kill there. So I don't want to do it right now. Uh, even though that would also let me fly there. Okay, then I can do maybe Q another center one here. Uh, no, no, probably this one. Except I'd probably want to get Cue that up there. Okay. Um. God, even with the quick AoE, that's not gonna kill him, huh? But, let's queue it up anyways. And then we're on to these two. The AoE is be a late go. Alternatively, I could just stronghold and protect everybody, but if I'm gonna do that, I may as well just burn a combo and murder them all. But alright, so there's the guaranteed kill of the front runner. Uh who else do we have yet to choose here? This guy, right? Because this is an instant. Where's the other one? That one? Okay, I don't care about that one so much. I do care about this one, I think. Because these two are not... Those two are not attacking my floaty robot dude. This guy is. It might be a good idea to get rid of that guy. He's gonna do 103. It's only gonna do 59. So, Alright, let's take out that guy. Okay. Then that leaves us a little bit better here. Okay, so now his shield is fine based on whoever's attacking next here. So this guy would probably be our next target. If I could get him gone. Everybody else is queued up already, so... Uh, even with that dude targeting my robot friend, that's not gonna be a problem. So can we... Ah, uh, we can't do that anyways. But, I mean, we can get him out the queue. Let's just get him out of here. Fine, fuck. Bonk. Eat shit. Well, he'll be eating shit after our other robot friend goes. Um, now, however... Uh... Now we just do AoE and then let the chips fall, huh? So he's gonna die, and then everybody else kinda gets an attack. The only one I'm really worried about is probably this one. Which I'm not too worried about, because it's like, yeah, it's targeting my healer, and yeah, she's gonna lose a little bit of health, but at the end of the day, I don't think it matters. Um, okay. That in mind, let's go to... What does Spasma do again? Vulnerability. Um, which we're gonna get, it's like, a late kill on one of those guys. Anyways, about burning. Seems better, honestly. Alright, do that up and let it go.
Okay, there's that dude fucking toast. Alright, they get their shots. Ouchie. Also, ouchie. Also, ouchie, but less of a problem since shields and shit. And there's the big AoE slam. That guy's toast. Uh, burning didn't do. Oh shit, I did not account for the burning on my friendo there. Oh well. Well, no matter. Well, either way, these fuckers are toast this turn. Anyways, uh, do I have, like, any infield heals I can do? Only to myself. Only to myself on this person, right? Yeah. Uh, I've got shields, but I don't really need to do anything else, really, so... Honk bonk! that guy out of here, and then whoever gets the kill gets the kill. Who's gonna get the kill here? I guess probably our robo-friend. Eh. Yeah. Hell. A lot of DNA out of that, though. So we get, uh... Got a few things out of that. That's neat. Um, who gets to level up out of this? Protag? Protag could level up. We could get Robot Friend to level up a little bit. Or our healer. Because how much do we have here? I do kind of- I think I like Blitz too, right? It's- it does more damage. It, uh, staggers him more, I think, right? Yeah, five more- five additional seconds of damage. Or, of, of stagger, rather. More damage, and whatever. Um... I would put him at level 10. Got pretty much all that we're gonna get out of everybody else, I think. Although, let's see, what, what, what does this do? It's a slow one, it cancels damage over time, and it also adds... Oh, it's like an AoE group shield add, which is, uh... Not bad, actually, not bad at all. Plus he's kind of a cheap level up. The lowest level of them all, so, uh, yeah, alright. Then we pretty much just need to do one more fight, and then we can do a level up on them again if we want to, or pretty much anybody else. Okay. Yeah, whatever this fight's gonna be. Please not six on six again. Alright. Hmm. That looks a, a little bit more troublesome. One of them gets to the yikes, gross. Uh... <laughs> Alright, what are we dealing with here? Uh... Okay, I'm not... I don't think I'm terribly threatened by any of these individually, but... I am a little bit more threatened by... Probably some of these if they get to go <laughs> at all, actually. Um, alright. Well, considering we've got time, uh, let's boost our stuff. And then see what we've got. What I'm worried about is that... Okay, so we can break that dude off in one. In I'm into that. Is he get, he's not going to take that much damage from it, so maybe we don't even need to do it like that. We could instead just do that, and uh, it's our, our 
Our group stagger one, unfortunately, is not super powerful. That worries me a little bit. But, we can then break that one off the timeline entirely. If we choose to do... Big Boom AoE attack. Break that one off the timeline, and then just like... No. Uh... Oh wait, why can't I... do this one, and then I would need to do probably a third attack. I could blitz that one to get him- oh, I- that's right, instant. <laughs> Whoops! I wasn't thinking about that again. Alright, and then we've got one more go to get him off the timeline, which is gonna have to be... Oh, we could just do the AoE and push him entirely off, and that would damage a bunch of other idiots, so... Uh, let's think about what we can do, though. Burning is blocked by shields. Do we have any effects that are not blocked by shields here? Shield is blocked by shields. Uh, additional shield defense? Or uh, damage, rather? Cushion is fun. I think not blocked by anything necessarily. Antimatter is what? Uh, sh armor Buster, right? Which uh, seems pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it that way. So that should give us enough. So that'll push that dude back, and then our two, our one single target here will push that dude off entirely. Which is great. And then our AoE attack will push the last dude off. And also do a little bit of armor damage too. Excellent. There we go. Hmm. Now, however. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. I can ensure that he goes the fuck away. Because I'm really kind of worried about whatever that attack is going to be. But if I'm going to be burning 15 Fury anyways... Can I, uh, just straight up murder two of them? <laughs> murder two of them and then hope I can attack, uh, fast enough to, to kill that thing before it gets to go. What is that charging up, by the way? 201. That's pretty strong. I don't like that. Uh, okay. We're gonna try to not do that, then. Oh, that takes 30. Ouch. Uh, no, I don't want 30. I want, um, this Cataclysm will do. And then, whatever else we can do. So how much would that do? That would do 104. How much does it have left? 518, well, minus whatever Cataclysm will do. You know what? Let's just do that right away. So that'll be a double kill plus, uh... Plus whatever damage is going against that guy. 297, pretty good. Oh, I didn't realize there was going to be a death kill there. That's fine, whatever. Okay, so now we've got less than 10 seconds to deal with this fucker. Um, well, I could easily do a free action here. Uh, except I don't need that to be antimatter anymore. Forty-five percent damage versus crit damage. Oh, okay, that might actually be pretty good. Then we can do that. Then also bleeding, and then we can do like just extremely quick. Oh, and then there's the kill. Even better. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, pretty clean. 
Pretty clean. Pretty clean, and now we've got uh, at least one level up we can do. Could, in theory, split, bring everybody up to nines, it looks like, almost. Well, two of the three up to nines. It's really just a health boost. Or, I could try to split it. I don't know. If I upped either of the other two, that would be a single go. Warple Strike 2 sounds fun. Kinda? Is that the... No, that's the single target one. Damn. Which one's the one with the, uh... It's the AoE one. Horrible storm is the AoE. Alright, damn. If we had an improved version of that, I'd go for it. Okay, well, if we're gonna do the two level ups, then let's give it to our Pro Tag. And then, I guess, our robot friend. That's pretty good. And then we get. Uh. Health armor. Shields. Would it make sense to use all of these? Or do we anticipate a fight even past this fucker here? This feels like pretty end bossy right here though. Okay, well, let's make sure. Cause I really don't need the shield. I guess I could take the shield games, right? And also armor buff. Uh. Oh, we can't even buff our floaty robot friend, though, so... Uh, who would really benefit from the extra armor? Probably our guardian, since they don't have any shields to speak of. Um, and then... I guess a full heal doesn't matter, really, and then a shield. A shield buff would be great. Okay, we can't give shields to our guardian, unfortunately. So who would who would benefit most from a additional 30 shields? Probably the Protag, right? Our other like main front person here. There. Then it's on to the well, I'm hoping this is like the final big bad fight. <laughs> Cause <laughs> Because <laughs> if it isn't, um, we kind of wasted two of the three of those things. Uh, alright. Let's, uh... Unleash... Unleash Fury here. Just really fucking big boom slam everything. Oh, dear. Okay, well... Hmm, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I don't like that he gets extra dumb idiots here. Um, alright. Oh, yeah, this is not good. I think then I would be best. Well, let's see. We've got time to work with, so let's again boost this back to doing a lot of damage because this will go no matter what. It'll, it says it cancels Overwatch, which would be nice. That would be good. Um, I am curious now because. If ever there was a time to really just let fly with all these sick combos, it would be now. Um, but maybe we don't need to do that this turn. So let's go ahead and 
uh, cancel Overwatch on this one, I guess, right away, right? Except that did, that didn't still Overwatch. Oh, it sucks, but all right, whatever. Um, so what else can we do then in terms of delaying shit? Not much. We'd need, like, really powerful staggers here. Do we have that? Got a 40 second. Which isn't going to be enough there, but it's uh, something. 25 second, which also is similarly not enough. Well, I mean, I guess the good news is we don't need to worry about staggering that one. It's just these two here. So if I focus my attention... That's interesting. That, that doesn't do... Oh, because it's not quick enough, right? Okay. Do we have anything that... have any other free reactions here, do we? Okay, that's unfortunate, but we'll do what we can here. Uh, so we're gonna have to then push these fuckers back the old-fashioned way, I guess, huh? Thank you. <clears throat> uh, okay. I have a feeling I'm only gonna have time to push one of these dudes off. And, uh, well, oh. Budget Han Solo is gonna take a big hit. So I, I, I don't think I care as much about that. He can probably take one on the chin. I'm more worried about this one. So if we think about that, we queue that up, and then do we have enough of a... Okay, that's not enough to push it off. That's only 25. We need something better than 25. If I have a single target that's better than 25. Sever. Okay, that'll push that off entirely. Alternatively, oh, I can't even. Oh, uh, no, I can't target the middle one yet. So, okay, that guarantees that gets pushed off. And then I suppose we're down to uh, just barely out of out of range. Although, if I maybe change the time aura, that might be enough. If we do this, then we should be fast enough. Alternatively, I could do. Uh, let's see. If I boost by 10, is that going to be fast enough to. Okay, it's not fast enough for the AoE to, it, to hit, but it is fast enough for... Oh, I can't even attack the center one with that, huh? So it would have to be the AoE then. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Is that at least kind of does a whole bunch of other damage. Okay, so we do that. Push that out. Push that one off the timeline, no problem. Um, and then, okay, Budget on Solo takes one on the chin, that's fine. Uh, and then Big Boom Slam AoE. Pretty good. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that, but it's fine. Now would be the time to probably go bim, boom, bam, bye, bye, both tentacles. Um, and then we can kind of work this down, right? So let's go. Okay, we're still back on spring aura. That's interesting. I thought I had put the time aura up. That's all right. Okay. Uh, I think we can do these combos more than once, right? As long as we got the theory. So, you know what? Let's just big boom slam and get those two out of here. Okay, I'm sure they'll be back because boss fights like to do that, right? They like to fucking summon their little minions at any given time. So now we get to go like... Focus down targets like immediately here. Um, I would love to do this in one. Blitz would do it in one and also act instantly and reduce defense. I am into that. Okay. There's a little, just a little tiny touch of health damage through the shields there, that's fine. Um, so now we get to do fun. Uh, just focus down attacks, I don't care that that one doesn't stagger. I yeah, everybody's pretty much good on shields and stuff, I mean, except for uh, Budget Haunt Solo, but he's probably fine the way it is anyways. Um... Oh, she's the only one to queue up yet. Uh, okay, do I even bother with this then, or do I just kind of go... Yeah, do, uh, do a stronger attack. <laughs> I can get behind the stronger attack bit there, so let's just do that. Beautiful. Hmm. Now, however. <laughs> now, what do I do? That's not enough to, uh... Push this one off the timeline. So now it would be a question of, do I burn my one stun here so we can focus down the rest. Cause what's now who who's that attacking? Oh it's attacking my floaty robot friend. I don't think I care enough about that. Like granted that's the one that absolutely has to survive this fight. But I think it can probably take one on the chin and be okay. Where's our armor buster one here? It's what, uh, antimatter, I think, right? Or concussion might be a good idea, too. If we can act first, which we can't, so let's act antimatter instead. So that's free, free action. Very light amount of damage, if, if any. At the, at best, it'll uh, it'll do like chip damage on the armor. Ah, okay. So maybe we wait and do an actual real attack. So that guarantees eight armor break and a little. Well, no, actually it doesn't because it's not going to be a crit. Shit, unless we. Uh, do the stun. Do we not have anything that will apply enough? Ah, uh, that's why. That's why the 45 second stagger isn't taking effect, because it's 50% defense against it. I hate it. Okay, so we would have to stun in order to guarantee they not get an attack this run, or this round, rather. I don't think I care. I don't think I care about that right now. So let's just do a bunch of stuff that will, that won't stagger, so we can leave that one stagger for next round. So what else do we have, then, that could potentially... 
Damn, because all of these attacks are are staggers. Except for this one. Which eh, could get behind that. Although that's not gonna do any health damage because it's got 53 armor yet. Do we have anything that does like sick armor damage? Just Sunder. Uh, but if I speed that up by 10 seconds, then we get, then we get the, uh, the 13 armor break. And I'm into that, so let's do that. Now we get to act fast enough to be like, bim, boom, bam, fuck your armor, and then, uh... Probably also do this, which will do sick armor damage as well, unless it's an instant one, so yoinkarooski. And then we've just got this one. Which, uh... Maybe I should have switched to Time Aura before we did this, because then we could have... Then we could have made this work. Uh, before they got a chance to attack. Um, I'll wait on this one, too, because I want to charge up a little bit more than two. So I guess do normal attack there and see what happens. Boom, boom, bam. Good armor break. Double digits. Okay, take that one on the chin. It's fine. Bonk there. Goodly amount of damage. Okay. Quantum Burst sounds... Oh, that's an AoE attack. Yeah, we need to not make that happen. Or make that not happen, rather. Uh, can we do that? Yes. Okay, this will do more armor break stuff. Which at this point is probably... Fine. I could also use this turn to regen some shields. Nah. Another additional 8 armor break there. It's down to 19. Um, okay, here's what I was looking for. Warp Storm. 3. Free action. Um, we'll do a very, like, extremely small amount of actual damage. Okay, we could do some two armor break here plus whatever else. Seems like a good idea. Do we have one? Who's our single target that will... Okay. There's our single target that will break him off the timeline. With one stagger attack. So let's do this for additional armor break. Excellent. Um... Here's a good, solid AoE, plus additional armor break, right? Although, does that do... That does a little bit of stagger, right? I don't want to do that. I would prefer to not stagger, so we can keep those staggers for next round. So, with that, then we can do that. And also be like, hey, eat, uh... Well, actually, wait. Is our big boom slam? Yeah, look at that. Oh man, that's even better. Yeah, there we go. So that'll do that, and then we can do maybe just our slow ass AoE. Well, I guess both of them do. Both of them do stagger. I I hope that doesn't. You know what? No, I'm gonna do the AoE version of it because it's a little bit slower, and I want to guarantee that our pro tag gets the the break on it. It's a big boom slam. Eat shit. Bye bye. Sixteen of your armor. Your armor's totally fucking toast. 
and we get a good hit there. 100% broken off. Oh, I should have changed to off of antimatter, really. Ah, see, now. <laughs> now is the time to be like, nope, we ain't letting you move this turn. Fuck you. <laughs> And now we get essentially one turn to do 744 damage. I think we can make this work. Let's, uh... I think I want corruption necessarily. Maybe I do, though, because that reduces damage by a quarter. And we're already doing bleeding anyways. So here would be the free... Free action here, right? So, bonk, 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 bonk. Plus corruption. Uh, which is great, because that takes effect. That's three turns and additional bleeding. Um, what else can we do here? Additional vulnerability to crit attacks. Kind of into that. Uh, let's do that. And then we can do big ass boom slam here. And we've got two additional attacks here. So let's go. Big AoE doesn't matter, right? Um, oh, we're so close to the actual kill here. Can we get somebody who's doing a big slam? Like, if we do. Big slam here. Like. Bigger boosted slam here, will it murder? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> so there's big AoE, which I don't, I don't give a shit about. He's stunned anyways. Uh, there's you know pretty good attack there. And vulnerability, 412! Fuck, yeah, and then there's the kill. Excellent. Order worked. Order of operations work. Now everybody's still like full health, full armor. There's got to be another fight then. Absolutely is another fight. <laughs> yep. Absolutely another fight. Oh no, it's the dude, it's our brother that got fucking murdered in, the, in act like one. Oh, he looks a little crazy eyed there. Um, uh oh. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't want to like it. I guess if we if we got to do another murder here, that's fine. Like greater good and all that. Oh. oh man, I really want to go collect these other things. They're not gonna let me! Fuck. Okay, but we get... Whoa, we Could we do two level ups here, in theory? Oh no, we're three short of doing a double level up. Or no, that's not true. We could do ten and nine here so uh what does our pro tag get at level 10 here chop holy shit look at that that's a big boom slam it's also a very slow one so i don't know how often we'll be able to get that for it's it's true shit there that's about half seas that's an extremely slow one but look at that shield boost 117 shield boost across everybody. I like that. I like that a lot. Then, of course, there's Blitz 2, which I also enjoy because that's stronger. <laughs> it's stronger than Blitz 1. Oh. Honestly, if all we get is an extra 12 health on our healer, that's kind of a non starter. That's not going to be. That's not going to help us in this fight, I don't think, really. I think Blitz 2 is tempting me here. 
113. We're three short for the level up here. Oh, that's so annoying. But okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so I guess we're up to here. Let's just fucking do it. The actual final battle, though. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't like, I don't like whatever that's gonna do. Ouch! Why does he get to do a free action? I hate it. I hate it. Oh, and then he stunned my dude, too, so, ah, you fuck. Okay. Um, God, he's got 70 armor, 1400 shields, 2100 health. This doesn't seem fair. And he's strong against staggers, too. I hate it. Also, why isn't he facing us? Fuck, coward. Um, all right. Well, what can we do about this? We could do the free uh, armor buster here. Might not be a bad idea, but if we're going to do that, we've got 30 seconds to work with, so let's... Strength boost. A good start, I think, always. Um, and then do armor buster, which is a free act. Well, not a free action, but it's an instant. Seems good. Uh... Uh, okay, our big armor buster here is too slow. Unless... Unless we push him back enough... Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Because let's see, what can we do here? What's our... Okay, our normal attack would push him back probably just enough here. We would have to do... So we only have three people to work with now. We'd have to do that first, right? And then we would have to do a uh, single target attack here, which is also a slight armor buster. And then we would have to do big boot slam here, which would break him off the timeline and also very good armor buster. So seems good. Um, one thing I forgot to change up though. So let's go ahead and cancel that out and do even more armor busting here. We need to make this antimatter, I think. So an additional nine armor broken per round. Or one round, I guess, yeah. Oh, plus bleeding. It's even better. So okay. Uh single target normal attack there, and then big boom slam single target here. Oh, except that uh, big armor break we tried to do didn't actually do. <laughs> Did not actually do because uh, shield, right. Fuck. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, okay. So here's our... Here's our stun combo. That takes a good, like, third of its shields. I like that. I think I do like that a lot. Uh... I think I need to do that. The other alternative is to use our... our one stun attack on this guy. But it's not gonna do much. Okay, well, then I don't want our armor buster on there. We want instead the additional shield damage one, right? Which I think is... Oh, well, actually, no, that's more crit damage. What's our, what's our shield buster here? Pulse? Yeah. Okay. Um, can I do this first, maybe? Maybe. 
that first. Okay, so now he's taking even more shield damage. I like that. Um, and then we could probably do something else, even. Let's do... I think Phasma, because that does... Reduces defense against crit damage, which is good. Um, I don't know if next round we'll be able to do anything that, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try it. Uh, okay, so I think then our, our option is this. Big, big attack, plus stun, plus bleed, which bleeding might not take effect because he's got shield yet, but I think I need to do this. Big hit, 574 to his shield. That's great, I like that. Oh, bleeding did take effect, I like that. All right, so now we get to do I guess Big Boom slams here. Very small amount of armor damage. Um, wait, does it... Did I misread that for antimatter? Does that not take a... Is that blocked by shields? No, because it should still... I don't wonder why that didn't take effect then. But all right, well, whatever. Let's uh, go back to I think fast, right? So now that'll reduce his damage or his defense to crits by 45%. That's pretty fucking slamming there. Uh, all right, and then additional armor bots, which I probably sh I should have done that one first. That was dumb. And then we've got one additional attack here, which. Essentially, chip damage to health. Alternatively, I make this do even more crit damage, which isn't much. That'll be a quarter more crit, which is another four. Not much. I can just do 41 straight away through, right? So, fuck you, I guess. Do one? Eh, sure. Bonk. Oh, and he gets to go immediately. I don't like that. Oh, what the fucking kind of armor boost is that? Fuck you, man. Oh, crap. All right, what's that doing? Ooh, that's a big hit. That's a big hit. But... <laughs> oh, I hate that he's fucking, like, got so much armor now. What? Damn it. All right, uh... What can we do that'll attack him first? Because we need to... Wait, huh? Why does he get... health back if I do this attack? That seems silly, right? Okay, well I think he's gonna get a he's gonna get a turn no matter what I do here. So we should do probably all our instant attacks first. Because he's already <coughs> vulnerable here for one more one additional turn. I could increase that here, I suppose, right? Alternatively, I could turn on not nitro necessarily. Um, pulse. Okay, that ups shield damage, right? I'm into that. Okay, so now he's taking even more shield damage, which we could then do. Okay, big hit there. And then essentially, we should just do whatever we can do to <clears throat> do additional shield damage here now. Blitz 2 is 90, place your bets is 81 plus whatever. 90 plus whatever. Like, Blitz 2 is objectively better. Plus it reduces defense. I should have done that one first. Damn it. <laughs> 236, that's a big slam. All right. Okay, so now we get whatever this is going to be. That should 
bust his shields open, right? How much does he have left? 110? Okay, so not quite, but pretty damn close. Do we have anybody else who can go here? Oh, okay. Clearly he's gonna go after him, so it's not gonna matter, but... Uh... It's anti-matter. Because if that... Ah, oh, god, that 135 armor. That's dumb. Alright. Well... Oh, plus we got her yet. Okay, never mind. Um... So that would almost certainly myrtleize the shields entirely. Between her and our protag doing, uh, I guess, Sever. And then... What do we want to do? What effect do we want to impart here? Probably Armor Buster, right? Which I think I just cycled past. Yeah, because what's that going to do? Another 9 armor buster damage per round. Which... Okay. Alright, let's line that up and then our uh, our floaty robot friend will take a little bit of... Oh, there goes the shields entirely. Very good. Oof, that's uh, kind of a big hit. There's that. Armor protect them, which sucks. There's that. Bleeding a little bit, plus armor buster. Okay, so now we get the chance to push him out. It's gonna take probably both attacks. But we gotta make sure. Okay, but he's going after our guardian. Which can afford to take a hit on the chin there, that's fine. No problems there. So what can we do? We gotta, we gotta get rid of his armor. Like, that's... 135 armor is too much. So, this is probably... Absolutely what I should do. Like, early instant attack there. 8 armor off. Okay, good stuff. Um... Here's a big, big, big stagger here. Plus a little bit of armor break. But that's about it, right? Even so. A little bit of health damage, too. Uh... So, I could put, then, I guess, Corruption up there, yeah? Because that would... What does that do? That reduces damage by a quarter for three turns. Oh, shit. That seems pretty good. Uh, if I do that... That's a free action, right? If I do that, then he's doing kind of less, I imagine, right? Yeah. And he's taking bleed damage, too, so that's that's something. Still got 1,900 health to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well... Okay, um, well, we're gonna get an attack here no matter what, right? Plus, that's gonna break him out. Plus, now we can do the big boom slam. I think we're guaranteed to, to break him no matter who goes here. Well, besides her, who's got the, who's got the biggest attack here? 71 crit versus... Uh, 22 crit. Alright, so we definitely want to then do that. She'll go first with the massive boom slam there. And, oh, well, yeah, she'll probably go first. Um, and then I want to make sure that... Probably Nitro, though. Because that'll slow his attacks by 20 seconds. Seems good. So, massive boom slam, huge 35 armor break. Breaks off the timeline for three fury, gives us even more fury. Damn, okay. 
Ah, uh, he gets to go. What is he summoning? No, that's not fair. Stop it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, why though? Oh, why does he get to summon dudes? Oh, crap. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, what about our like big combo? The big combo doesn't do enough. Oh, and then he gets to fuck. Okay, no, we need to stop him from doing that. Uh, I need to stop him from doing his fucking regen shit. That's what I need to do. What what do we have that can do that? I think all we have really. Uh, we don't have our. We don't have enough for our stun combo. Does that do? Is that a group stun? If that was a group stun, I might try to hold out for that. Because we could do one instant attack, which would be enough. And then, well, actually, let's, let's think about this for a bit. If I put Timora back on, his AoE attack becomes instant. And each crit that we get does one fury, right? So this would be one, two, three fury. That would get us 20 fury to do Possibly our group stun. Can I, um. Can I see? Here. Can I pause? Yeah, here we go. I want to look at, um. Oh no, it's not letting me go over to, to Investimac my people here. I wanted to see if our combo attack that does the stun, if that's a group stun or a single target stun. Oh, looks like it's single target, if I read the icons correctly. That sucks. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Then our alternate here is to... Big combo. Big combo here would push those fuckers back a little bit and let me stun them off the timeline, right? Especially this whoever's going first here. Who's going first? Which of you fucks is going first? Whoever's attacking, well, they're both. Okay, I think this guy. Which I think I do need to make sure they not act this round, because otherwise, floaty robot friend is probably gonna eat shit. Uh, okay. Um. Ah, uh, this is bad. Alright, so big combo would push him back. Then I would need... Probably Blitz 2 on this fucko. To make sure he gets pushed off the timeline. And then we would need to at least get one more attack on this fucker from somebody. I guess one of our one of our AoEs might do it. So that does ten. And then our uh combo would push it. Okay. 10 would be enough. That would push him off the timeline. <sighs> would that be enough to give us back a stun attack for next round? Probably not, because this requires... God, that requires 15? Ah. <sighs> and how much does the big combo stun take? 20. Ugh. Fucking gross. Okay. Well... I mean, I think that's the best we can do. And at that point, I think we would have to probably do... Some shield regen. To save us for next turn. I think that's the best prob... That's probably the best option here. I... 
It's not good, because this guy's going to be able to fucking regen his health and most of his armor. I fucking hate that. That's not fair. <laughs> Only I may heal. Shit ass. All right. Um, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So, uh, blitz to this fucker. Get him way back. That gives us a lot of time to work with now. Uh, our big combo attack breaks one of them off. I think, right? Does some armor break. On most of them, right? Probably breaks shields on the rest of them. So I probably should have done this one first. Whoops. Uh... Okay, I think I need to do that, no matter what. Big attack. Extremely large. Uh, and then we've got... Two. Two... Two folks to go here. If we do big AoE, that'll break him the rest of the way off the timeline. Good. Uh, I don't... Okay, I've got actually got a free action here as well. That's interesting. Oh, maybe I don't want to do that this round, though. Wait for it to charge up a bit. And then, of course, there's the question of, well, should I just get a shield regen going here? Get ourselves protected up. but make sure that guy falls off this timeline. Uh, if I do... Where's our AoE? There's our AoE. That breaks him off the timeline entirely. For now. Now we're free to do this, which will give us a little bit of shield regen. I think it's probably the best we could hope for. He's, he's gonna just regen all of that health shit that we do anyways, so, okay. Shield regen's good. And then we get kaboom bam boom, get out of here, fucko. Good luck. Better luck next time. Um, god. Gets all of his health back, that is so dumb. And we still can't fucking stagger him off the timeline. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, this is a big problem. This is a big problem. Um. These dudes are just so beef. Like, they got a thousand health. Why does he get to summon dudes that got a thousand health? That's not fair. <laughs> That's fucking not fair. Uh, alright. Um... What can we possibly do then? Like, even if we focus down one of these fuckos... It would have to be this guy, I think, because he's doing his... Doing the big AoE attack. Uh, okay, I don't care that he stuns our floaty robot. Oh, two of these fuckers are doing AoE attacks. Damn it. Uh, okay. Well, the other option is... Uh, oh, I can't because I don't have 20 Fury. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Alright, well... That's no good. Hmm. Well, that's a big ol' rip. And we can't stagger any of these fucks either. And we can't stun any of them because we don't have enough fury to do that.
and two of them are probably gonna act before me unless I use all of my instant attacks, right? Ah. Uh. Shit. Boy, this is, this is suddenly a very big problem. Um. Well, I could defend. Defending would, at least on my weaker characters that aren't going to be doing any work for us, would prevent me from taking, like, extreme damage. But then... But then they essentially get a free turn. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So, what are my options for free actions here? We've got this. Which is essentially nothing. And this guy's debuffs are going to run out at the end of this round. Anyways, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, shit. Uh, this is bad. This is real bad. I don't think I'm going to have enough defense to survive probably two more turns. So, okay, we're, well, they're guaranteed to get, every one of them is guaranteed to get an action this round. We can't avoid that. So, what can we do to... Can we focus down one of these? No, because they've got 950 health and 760 health. So that's not enough. Like, we can't focus him down. Like, I don't care that he's going to stun my floaty robot, dude. Like, he doesn't get a turn. He doesn't get an action anyways. I don't fucking care. Um, I'm really worried about these AoE attacks. Like, what can I do to protect that against that? The best defense here would probably be to get most of my folks to go before those other two dipshits get to go. And for those who can't do that, I'd probably be best off defending. Alternatively, like, if my Guardian is going to take one on the nose regardless, Maybe just let him take one on the nose, and he can do a free action heal next turn. Like, that would be fine. Who, who is not able to go? We can get our Protag to go. We can get our healer to go. We can get Budget Han Solo to go. And we can get our robot friend to go. So pretty much the only one who is not going to be able to go before they act is our Guardian. So if I do a defend... Oh, should I even bother with a defend? I don't think I care. Like, again, I don't think I care. We could do a big boom slam AoE... help us out for next turn, right? That seems to be the way to go. Oh man, he's gonna take a pretty big hit, but he also can get 65 self-heal. How much is he gonna take here? 48, 64, 60, plus 30, so 90, 96, 180 something, and then 62, 72, God, that's like a good like th two to three hundred. How much health does he have? Not much. Not that much. 
But I think we maybe do two self heals and then might offset. Like the 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 effect he's gonna put on him with this big AoE will probably help us out best in the long run. So let's do that. Um the only Unless we speed our shit up somehow, which we'd have to turn on Time Aura. Slash would work. But Sunder works, no, not Sunder. Sever works now. Despite being blocked by most of their armor, which I can fucking hate. She gets to go then. Um, I could do, you know, big well, not big AoE necessarily, but, you know, pretty not unreasonable AoE. Plus a little bit of armor break. Plus a debuff. And stagger defense debuff, which I, you know, I can be into that. And then we can do an instant, either... Well, Blitz 2 is objectively the best one. And then our healer, which... How's our shield regen doing? We're still doing 13 for two more rounds. Uh, oops. Yeah, we're still doing 13 for two more rounds. We could... crush that. Or... it really make sure that her attack does the best that it can do. Or we could defend and stop her from taking a pretty decent chunk of damage. Let's do that. Okay, and then we're probably Blitz 2 here, and whoever the target's gonna be, I don't... Like, targeting this dude in the back doesn't seem to make a lot of sense until these other fuckers are dealt with. So let's go ahead and do that. Blitz 2 on his front. Lion. Pretty good slam there. Good AoE there. Like to see that. And then, you know, not, not a bad attack there. Oh god. AoEs make me nervous. Um, okay. Oh, that makes me even more nervous. But he only gets stunned, which is fine, but then this attack kicks off and then. I Oh. Okay. And we get AoE there, which is fine. Okay. So now. <laughs> now, what, though, is the big in question? Uh, what can we do here that would benefit us the most? Did we get... Yes, we got this. Like, the gr the AoE fucking group shield gain probably seems like a good idea here. Um, but that, go that fires off real late, so we gotta make sure these fucks are off the timeline before we do that. I don't even want... You know what? I could queue it up. I'll queue it up, and then we'll see if we can make it work. And if we can't, we'll back it out seems good, because that'll help us not die. Um, we need to make sure then that this dipshit super gets off the timeline. That's an instant, so we'll wait, but that does pretty well. That does pretty well. That pushes him back. We're going to need 20 to push him back all the way. If we do that plus that, that will get him probably out of here. Probably out of here. That leaves these other two dipshits. Which I'm not confident we'll be able to do. Uh 
We would need to do this probably here. And then we would need... Okay, so we could do full on... Okay, then here's our... God, that really doesn't heal that much, does it? How much health do we have? 416 total. Because that's a free action, but it doesn't do stagger, right? So... Probably fine. Let's get at least two self heals here. We do a th third would uh, take us back to full, so we don't need to do that necessarily. If we do that, that guarantees. That probably guarantees them getting broken off this turn. It's fine. However, um, I want... What do I want? What is that going to do right now? Okay, slowing. Uh, how is their debuffs right now? Okay, that, they are not slowed right now. In fact, that's, so that's probably the one that I want. So, okay. Let's do that, and then we need... If we do this, that's not going to be enough to push him back. So we would need an additional single target against him, which would have to be... It would have to be our Protag doing that. It would have to be our Protag... And then, what's our robot friend? Our robot friend is doing uh, shield buffs. Ah, I think I'd prefer to have him do... All right. I think I'd prefer to have him do... Ah, uh, but then he would move faster. That's kind of the problem here. Okay, let's undo that. So I kind of need... Okay, she's not moving fast enough to get rid of that fuck ass, but... Let's queue that up. If we do... Blitz 2, that's not still not going to be enough to push him back, right? Push him off, because we need... Yeah, so that's not going to... That's not going to work. We would need... Probably this instead... That pushes him off entirely. If we queue up 25, 40, 30. Okay, this is a stronger attack with only 25, but that's probably fine. We would need to queue this up. That would. Okay, that wouldn't be enough to break him off. So we would need the stronger stagger, which is... Sever, I guess, yeah? Oh, but I can't target him with Sever. Fuck. How far back is this push? Not far enough. So I need plus 20 to that, right? So why wouldn't the 40 do it? The... I'm confused. Why wouldn't this be enough? Oh, right, because I can't target it. Oh, my God. Sunder I can target, but... It's not going to be enough to get him out of here. I think either way, he's getting an attack, and what is he attacking? Oof. That kills our floaty robot friend, which, uh... And it gives up the rest of it. Shit. Okay, 
that's not gonna work then. Okay, unless we give shields back? A very strong shield restore. Single target is probably fine. If we then blitz him out of there, he'd be safe. not do that. Instead, if we do that, do that first, and then uh, let's get that out of there for now. Then do Blitz 2. That's, see, that's not enough, then. That doesn't get him off the timeline. Ugh, I hate it. Doesn't get him off the timeline. How much damage is he gonna be doing here? 64. But that's assuming that guy also goes, which is not going to happen, because he's getting pushed off the timeline anyways as well. So, alright. Let's cancel the AoE there. Let's make sure we do that. So wait, who's... Okay, she's pushing him off the timeline. That's the important part there, I think. Then I would need to probably do that, and... Blitz 2, which doesn't get him off the timeline necessarily. And we would really, realistically, just need to do... Well, if we did that, that would make sure he gets off the timeline anyways, right? So let's go ahead and cancel. Cancel that for now. Do that. Pushes him back. Blitz 2 would kill that fucker. It's interesting. Um, which might actually be worth it. Okay, it might be worth it just to get one of them off the field permanently. I just wish there was a way to get him to not move. But he's only attacking our... our thing there. So it's probably fine. Just gotta make sure he doesn't take another big hit. And I guess, well, we could just do a kill shot here, get him off, take him off entirely. Other dude gets pushed off the timeline, so we get another turn. And then... Yeah, why don't we do that? And then... Still want to push this fucker back so he gets crit by uh, our guardian. And that's it. That's I think that's it. I think that's the end of the turn. He gets a hit on our floaty robot friend, but it's probably the best we could hope for. Okay, let's do that. Okay. It's break plus the fury points is really what I'm looking for, really. I'll get the crit there, plus the break, plus the fury points is great. That fucker eats shit. And we get the big AoE attack there. Ouchie. Wait, why didn't front line dipshit... Wait, what the hell? Why didn't front line dipshit die? Am I stupid? Wait, what the fuck? 
I'm sorry, what happened? Wait, that's not what should have happened. Excuse- Ah. Oh. Well, fuck me. Okay, that's not how that should have happened at all. What the hell? Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? Shouldn't that frontline dude have died? And... I... Ah, I'm annoyed by that. Like, that's not how that should have worked at all. Damn it. Fuck. Ah. Well, that sucks. But hey, that was pretty good for like a first quote unquote run, right? We got to what was presumably the final boss. Well, actually, no, probably not. There was probably another one after that, honestly. So, I, I doubt very much that would have been the final, final battle. But hey, we got, you know, tier 3 intel. Okay, and we get perks and shit. Oh, tier 4 intel now. Okay, cool. Uh, we get more perks. And tier 5 intel. We get even more perks. <laughs> Okay, pretty good first run, I guess. We're getting all of this stuff. Oh, not quite to tier 9, though. Boo. Boo. Um, but we get to recruit people now, I suppose. I imagine they probably intended me to lose that run much earlier than I did. Because then we would have gotten to know about this stuff. Uh, several so abilities, use your intel and tech to unlock new renegades, equipment, and droid upgrades. Uh, is gaining by injuring and defeating enemies, blah blah blah, intel and limit defeating adversaries and behemoths. Uh, go to the portal at the south end of the base to jump to the next destination. Alright, alright. Alright, so we, we tried. We, we did our best. Um, and we got kind of fucked over by things happening that didn't say they were gonna happen, so that's fun. Unlock perks by using intel for new renegade recruits. Uh, more armor, more armor damage, more damage, increased stagger. Uh, piercing seems good. Uh, more health and more damage. Alright, uh, sure, do that one. Oh, that's one time deal, huh? Okay, well, what else do we want to do? Uh, and then there's other people we can use. Oh, okay. Oh, right. So here's the, uh, the healer from our first run, right? Could grab immediately from Go, but oops, don't have enough, uh, intel, I guess, to do such a thing. Um. Strap and returns fire whenever attack. That sounds pretty good. Cost the remainder of my intel. Anything else we can spend this on? I don't think it's anything you can relax, enjoy the music, mingle in the surviving renegades while on your sorrow. Wallow in sorrow. Oh, that's a big fucking mood. Oh, it's doggo. Arf, arf. Okay, do it. <laughs> wow, that's pretty impressive that they they go this far with petting the dog. <laughs> I do think it's funny, actually. Yeah, all right, yeah, try it, try repeating, go for it. Do it. Okay, let's, let's just... I mean, it's pretty quick, we can just keep fucking tapping A and see what happens.
Okay. It looks like they're looping, actually, for real. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Ah, oh, nuts. It's so empty in here because everybody died. <laughs> everybody died. But that's alright. That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes everybody just dies. That is pretty funny, though. Like, can you pet the dog? Yes, you can pet the dog. But the dog is also sapient and doesn't like being pet. What a depressing state of affairs. Alright, and that's recruiting other other folks and shit, right? Ah. Ah, so here's where we get, where we get to spend some of our permanent currency, right? Pretty good. What about over here? Right now we get to the traditional mission. Holy work directly at a time. Um oh I see. Teenage credits. Uh, repair 50% armor automatically. Uh, after every camp, uh, more merchants available, and three heroes instead of two upon liberating a planet. I see, I see. Actually, I kind of like getting more more money and more level up juice. So I'm not going to waste 100, 100 whatever these are on doing that. And that's just that, okay. All right. I like our you can randomly spawn during your mission at all item levels. Okay, I see. <clears throat> Only one can be activated per mission. What does that mean? Oh, I see. Okay, so one type of S word, one type of gauntlet, and one type of gun. Is is that what I'm seeing here? Or that's okay. That's everything. Okay. Okay, yeah. One S-word, one gauntlet, one gun, one other gun. I guess it's rifle. Like, one one-hander, one two-hander, one implant, I guess? That's, like, like, the universally usable ones. And one whatever these are. Okay. Well... That being the case, then, I don't think... How much do we get? We got 143. So we could just... What do we need to do to unlock these? We just need to buy more? Maybe we just need to buy more. Alright, you know what? I think we've got enough to... Oh yeah, see, there we go. Buy one of each. And maybe that unlocks the rest or something. Oh, it didn't unlock the rest of these. Boo. Oh, and then we can also promote and demote. That's weird. Oh, okay. So we can sort of try to control which stuff appears during the run. That's an interesting way to do it. Very complicated. Promoted, demoted, S words. Okay, I see. How much do we have left? 68 left. Uh, well, probably gonna use the S words a lot, right? So. Maybe the gauntlets, too, come to think of it. On account of, like, that's kind of our primary two character types, is like. S words and gauntlets, right? Hmm. How much do we got left? We only got eight left here, so that's. It's not gonna be nothing. Not gonna be good for nothing, really. Uh, so then what can we do? We can. Oh, that's. That's demote. Promote is why. Can we. Oh, we've only got one promotion, huh? One promotion and one demotion. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Um, well, then we just got a fancy new S word. Two fancy new S words, in fact. Uh, let's uh, promote the fancy new S word and then demote uh, the slightly less fancy new S word, I guess. 
What else are we gonna do? Um, and then, okay, there's our additional recruitments, right? Kind of into having somebody who auto fucking counters. Like, yeah, give me that. Oh, those are permanent unlocks, too. That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, that's the extent of our intel, I guess. And what was this about? Oh, this is additional things that we could unlock. All right. All right, well, uh, okay, and then we get to choose. Sort of. Sort of, but sort of not. I, um... Okay. Like, do we get to then start with five people? Oh, no, we start with three, and then the two... The two first areas we do, then we recruit somebody else, right? And then the third area that we do, we get floaty robot friend with a bomb. I see. I see. I see. Okay, so you start with a three-person team. Um, well, fudge. Uh, damn, because I was just getting used to the team we just had. Like, I figured we were... We were getting, we were hitting our stride, but then we got fucked over <laughs> by a turn that did not roll out the way we thought it would roll out. Um, okay, well, I want to start with my fresh ass commando. And then, I don't know, I guess Budget Han Solo was doing some pretty good work. Like, he was in charge of stunning and shit, so. Seems good to keep him around here. Uh, more health, more damage. Uh, faster, more damage, and more piercing armor and shit. I mean, the other one, the rookie ones are just like, oh yeah, you get two more relationship points. Uh, which I guess paid off, but at the same time, it's like, nah, fuck it. Oh my god, there are eight difficulty levels? Excuse me? How long do they expect me to play this game? Oh wait, no, nine! What the fuck? Wow. Alright. Well, I guess we'll keep rolling on normal. Because we seem to do okay. We did alright. We got to, like, the final bits. But we then we got fucking smoked, so... Yeah. Alright, I don't need to learn about all these fuckers. We can learn about them as we go. Okay, so now that we kind of understand sort of what's going on, let's... Do it. Let's go for it. Alright. So one, two, three. Because now it seems like the best course of action would be let's take a bunch of early fights. Early, easy fights. Level up our folks. Um, get, get some cool shit. And etc. Right? Um, uh, man, I'm still annoyed that I lost that last fight. That was dumb. That was a, a dumb fucking outcome. But whatever. All right. So what do, what do we do here? I wouldn't mind getting these extra little like level up bits. Like these are practically free. Right? Although, wait, where's the, where's the end bit? The end bit's over here, right? Um, which includes... Actually, wait, is this the end bit? Or is, is there always like a little, yeah, I don't remember the start of the game as much. Is there always like a little, like first, like a prologue here that we just do pretty much nothing and then Okay, fine, let's just go this way. Oh, this is all... Well, no, it's not free. No, let's go this way. But it's not free, because we can't go back. Just 
kind of dumb. Oh, we only get three there. Oh, goody. How much do we need for the first level? Okay, single digits. Single digits, and then here's a... Level one fights. Well, three on two. I think we'll be alright here. Maybe. Although now the like the the earning of fury is less important since we don't have uh, we don't really have any good way to use it, right? Done. Stupid. Oh no, no, I didn't. There we go. I'm just kind of curious what we'll be able to do here. Because, uh. Yeah, we're not gonna get him in one, but. At the same time. Probably move fast enough such that. Oh hey, look at that. That fucker dies. Um, and then we do. You know, push him back super hard. And then, you know, get the kill shot on whoever, I guess? Does it matter? Okay, yeah, because he's dying no matter what, so... Kill shot there, and then we're fine, so... They didn't get to go. They didn't get to go at all. I think, right? Because he's dead? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, then we get to level up, which is just like, oh yeah, let's get everything. Um, I do like trick shot, because that's the insta stun, right? So get that immediately, I guess. We're kind of. Taking these fights, like, yeah, this must be like a little prologue section, because I don't, I don't remember this happening, but then again, I guess the prologue in the first run was, like, tutorial zone, right? Honestly, you know, I make fun of him a lot, but Budget Han Solo really does a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, one dummy here. Oh, he doesn't like normal attacks, huh? Okay, well, we can make sure to not do normal attacks. That's fine. We can do uh, light attacks and heavy attacks and skip the normals. No problem, buddy.
So now, are we gonna be able to do this all in one? Like, if he's just gonna get enraged, I don't fucking care. But if he's gonna die, that would be ideal. Looks like we might not be able to get him to die, because what's he gonna do? Oh, it's not gonna matter. I don't care anyways. Uh, but, if his enraged does more... Oh, plus we can do- oh, eh, nah. Wait, that's considered a heavy attack? No, it's a light attack. What are you doing? Whatever. But as long as Enrage doesn't, like, beef up its, uh, attacks, I guess it's fine. So I think no matter what, even if he attack, he's gonna attack this round, but, like, whoop de fucking do Tarantula Town, he did a little bit of shield damage. Not enough. No, oh, except he doesn't, like, uh, whatever. Nah, no, fuck gonna be a kill shot anyways, and that's gonna be a kill shot. So, you know what? Get enraged. I don't care. Q. What are you gonna do? Oh no. You're gonna die. That's what. <laughs> Fucker. Okay. We get free shit. Um, so armor, or, okay, our commando uses rifles, and then, uh, I do like that, actually, let's get that for commando. Um, and then that's it, that's it for the prologue, I suppose, right? I get to go, oh, hey, yeah, I remember when we just got... Remember two minutes ago when we murdered that guy? Yeah, imagine that. Um, health we don't really need, armor repair we don't need, that's all we get is that stuff. Pretty slim. Pretty slim for our first camp out here. Eh. Okay, so then that is that okay, then then it's the real first area, right? Okay, yeah, so now it's the real like we we move three spots in a day and we get three days and they're actually maybe uh problematic fights, given our low level, right? So there's a level 2, or there's a level 2 there, level 3 there, um, what's this other fucko? Uh, level 2, alright, so th those two are probably on my radar then? I don't know, I don't know about this guy, though. I don't know about this guy. Kinda... Kind of a problem. But... Well, it also means he's defending some cool shit, too. It's so, like, there's that, and then there's that. Um... And then wherever this guy's defending, it's rare attack over there, and yeah, some other things. Ugh. Okay. Moonbase teleporter. I don't know what that is. Was that something in the first area of the last run, too? Yes, alright, so if we plan this out, one, two, we go fight that fucker right away. It'd probably be a bad idea, he'd probably murder us. Three, and then one, I think this is a free bit there. Two, over to this fucker, get that crate. Three, and then one, get whatever that is. 
that's going to be locked down. Well, it's not going to be locked down unless we get the center bit, right? That's what this whole thing is. So we could really play fast and loose in this first area. That might not be a bad idea. But we're about at time for tonight anyway, so we might kick this new run off in earnest next time. Next time, next time. Unfortunate that we couldn't beat that other fucker <laughs> earlier. <laughs> kind of still a little stupid. But uh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. Uh, more Star Renegades. Looks like we're starting up a new run here. So we'll see how, how far we can carry with that. Um, Thursday is no stream since we'll be out of town uh, until Sunday night. But Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT V long play. So more Tales Principle 2. Um, more of the quote-unquote hardest section of DLC puzzles. Um, considering we've got 20 plus to do there. So that, that should be fun. We'll see how many we can get through. Um, and then next Monday, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll probably still be going with Star Renegades, honestly. This is a, a fun enough game that I don't mind trying to do like a second additional full run here. Um, even though it's a little bit slow for us to go through because, you know, we like to be cautious and, and plan out shit, right? Um, but it's still pretty fun. It's interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.